All right guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we learned how to refund our customer, but maybe it's the same day and you want to void it out. Maybe it hasn't been processed to the bank yet. Uh, if it is the same day and it's not late enough, you can do a void and it's like it never happened. Maybe you uh, charge them a little bit more. Maybe you double charge them and you want to void it out. Here's how we do it. Let's go over to our left-hand side and click on sales. From our sales, let's track down a customer and let's find a sales receipt. Any sales receipt. I got a Snapchat. It's from my buddy. Uh, sales receipt. Let's go ahead and just click on this. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to assume that it's the same day. I think it's three or four o'clock East Coast time. After that, the bank will run it as a sale and you will have to offer them a refund. Down here where it says make reoccurring, customize and more, click on more right there. And don't delete it. I highly suggest never deleting anything. Just void it out. Uh, make it null and keep it in your records. You're going to want to have just every transaction history just with a date on it. Always helps out. Uh, and then void just like that. Are you sure you want to void this? Yes, we pulled out. We are not going to charge. We are not transferring any money. And that's it. Quick little video just how to void it out. Uh, keep in mind, it's got to be the same day. If it goes into a new business day, you are going to have to offer a refund. Good luck with this quick little video. Hopefully this made sense. Good luck and I'll see you in the next video.